Ladies and gentlemen, it's Vol here. I'm going to take a look at a recent game of Warhammer Fantasy Battles that I played at um, my buddy Phil's place. This is Warriors of Chaos against Dark Elves again. You might remember a recent game that we had uh, involving this matchup in which I managed to win with the Chaos Lord on the Juggernaut. Uh, this game's different because I'm using a very standard list which you guys seen before. Um, you might want to look back a few weeks at uh, Warriors of Chaos versus Wood Elves at Nick's place. Um, I'm using the same list again. You've got the Nurgle Sorcerer Lord. You've got all the models that I own, essentially lots of infantry, lots of knights, lots of everything. Just the two characters, the Nurgle Sorcerer Lord and the BSP. Now, Phil has actually uh, dropped the number of Witch Elves that he's taking for this game, but he's actually taking two Hydras, two Chariots, a Cauldron, um, Dark Riders, the Pegasus um, with the Supreme Sorceress, level 4, some Harpies. His list is actually a lot tougher, and um, I didn't actually really think much of it when we came to play the game because, you know, we're just having a good time. But um, after I uh, mentioned uh, what was in his list to the guy who's organizing the tournament that we're both practicing for uh, coming up later this month, look out for it, it's on the 27th, um, he, <laughs> you know, it was pointed out that obviously there's a very very hard dark elf list i'm just not used to to playing against phil using very dark high, um very powerful dark elf list that is uh, because he's so addicted to taking a lot of witch elves and so forth but let's see how this game turns out the the power of the lists aren't too important in this phase it's really what actually happens so as you can see here two big armies deployment deployed we're going to go to the next photo so you can see in a bit more detail what's going on dark elf side of the field he's got two uh, units of repeater crossmen on the hill in the building um, everything stacked in the center that can fight essentially but the two chariots on either flank one on the right one on the left which you can't see pictured and uh, a bit of um, fast moving stuff on the right hand flank you got the Pegasus behind the hill as well next photo you've got my army uh, really just a typical uh, Vol Chaos style with, uh, with lots of dogs and screening troops in front lots of frenzy stuff in behind one unit of knights per flank and the characters in the middle just a very very basic setup looking for a slugfest here Excuse me. The uh, knights on the left-hand flank are the ones with the mark of corn, therefore they're frenzy. Actually, no, they don't have the mark of corn. They have the banner of rage, making them frenzied all the time. Next photo. Uh, Phil has got his harpies out. He's got um, pretty much everything's here and here in the photo. He's taken lore of dark magic from his sorceress lord. I did point out to him at the start of the game. I do every game that he might be a bit better off taking lore of metal against warriors of chaos, but he's more familiar with the lore of dark magic, so that's what he's decided to take in the end. Next picture, uh, Dark Elves take the first turn, moving out with the Hydra and everything straight forward here. Uh, and um, this is an interesting uh, thing here because he hasn't really taken the time to sort of get units in the way of, of anything else. He is frenzy with his Witch Elves, so it gives me an opportunity again like last game to put things in the way. But we'll see how that actually works out. Uh, you know, essentially all this photo shows you that there's been a, been a very aggressive play uh, straight off the bat. Uh, next photo shows you that in a bit more detail. He's kept his chariots back a little bit just in case I move in and he wants to flee back with his hydras, uh, I assume, or just to, to avoid uh, being charged or threatened by by something. I'm not really too sure what his plan here was with the chariots. I think it's I think the, this photo essentially shows that the chariots moved forward seven and everything else had higher movement than that, so that's why, why everything else is further forward than the chariots. Um, on the left-hand flank over here, on my left, moved around with his dark riders. You can even see in the wood there, he's used his focus familiar from the sorcerer the Supreme Sorceress, to actually start casting spells from relative safety. Next photo, it's the Warriors of Chaos turn. You can see the BSB in the unit of, um, of uh, Great Weapon Warriors there in the, the middle. I've actually ordered some more miniatures recently from Maelstrom Games, and um, I'm going to be putting together some new Warriors of Chaos models. Uh, not new units, just new characters. That's the only thing my army really lacks, some some really cool-looking characters, and I'm going to fix that and show you guys as soon as it's done. He's already killed a, a knight with his magic somehow, me rolling a one, uh, inevitably. And uh, in this uh, photo, you can see how I've actually uh, put marauder units in the way of his guys so that they can flee and then give me uh, opportune charges with the rest of my guys. That's essentially the plan here. Will it work? Next photo, uh, you can see a bit more on the left-hand side of, of, of Phil's side of the table here. The, the dogs essentially getting in the way of the chariots and everything. Set that up so that the chariot might actually hit the wood if one of those uh, unit of hounds uh, flees. And everything else, essentially there's a front line of screen and then the back line of guys which can do a lot of damage in close combat. And we'll see how that goes very shortly. Got the chariots lined up to really pummel the hydras if the hydras decide to actually attack any of the screen. That's the way things have worked out here. Next photo, uh, Phil's turn. You can actually, well, not Phil's turn yet, but you can actually see a bit of a, uh, a bit of more of a close up. Plenty of witch elves there. He's actually borrowed some of my friend's Ray's, friend Ray's models uh, and combining them with his own here. Um, but yeah, looks like it's going to be a really violent battle in the next couple of turns. Next photo again, indeed, uh, charges into the unit of Chaos Warriors with his chariot. 
Uh, the Hydras actually both uh, charge units and I flee with all of my uh, Marauder Cavalry. He's moved the, uh, the Harpies in the way of the Frenzied Knights to bait them. And uh, what actually happens in this little combat is that the uh, chariot mutilates a lot of those warriors, just smashes them left and right. But of course, the character uh, attacks back and he's got a strength 7 attack because he's uh, armed with a flail, uh, killing the chariot. So I don't think Phil counted on that. I'm not too sure what happened there. Next photo, uh, you can see the sorceress landing behind the, the enemy lines, uh, getting spells off, using my dispel scrolls wherever possible. But uh, he's got a lot of maneuverability there with his magic and with his Dark Riders. Dark Riders still haven't really uh, been involved in the game very much. I would have thought he would have tried to uh, use them to redirect a little bit, but um, hasn't really happened yet. In the meantime, uh, things are looking like they're going to get uh, going pretty shortly in the background. Next photo, uh, things indeed start get going here. Um, what happens is that um, on the right hand flank, I charge one Hydra, on the left hand flank, I charge the other Hydra. With this Hydra you see in the photo, he has, he has decided to hold, and I've, I've hit his Hydra with a chariot and a whole lot of uh, Chaos Warriors with great weapons and a, a um, character, so you can, you can be assured that, um, that Hydra is likely to die. In the background, the Chaos Knights have pursued and um, actually, sorry, they've pursued, they've, it, it, they've charged the Harpies, the Harpies have fled, the um, Chaos Knights did not catch the Harpies, but um, ironically, they did catch the Hydra who had fled from the other side of the battle through the Witch Elves and actually the Chaos Knights um, made contact with it. So that's one Hydra wiped out already. And um, over here we've got a Chaos Chariot uh, having charged the Witch Elves. Brutal combat ensues. Next next photo, um, his shooting has devastated this unit of Hounds, but somehow one of them has survived. So he's moved in such a way that if the uh, Chariot attacks him, um, he'll actually be forced to go through the forest if the um, Hound flees, which will be hilarious. Uh, nice photo there. Next picture, in the background, the Mimora Cavalry have rallied, and because they voluntarily fled,